doing homework is a little easier for one Montezuma area eighth grader thanks to the Cortez Police Department and new vision technology for color blindness. Thanks for watching the Local News Network brought to you by Nice Electric of Cortez. I'm Wendy Graham Settle. Most of us take seeing the full color spectrum for granted, but an estimated 350 million people, or 4% of the world's population, are red-green colorblind. The number of shades of color a typical colorblind person can see may be reduced by as much as 90%. The recessive X-linked gene affects about 1 in 12 men and 1 in 200 women. Tyler Jackson, who will be a freshman at Cortez High School next fall, is the son of April and Brett Jackson, and he's struggled since preschool when he was diagnosed with colorblindness. I think it was mostly trying to tell about the colors on like maps for school or even coloring the maps for school. And I always had to have someone there by me to help me like get the colors right. And that was a difficulty and it just became really annoying. The Cortez Police Department's in-school resource officer, Vern Rucker, met Jackson three years ago while teaching the fifth grade DARE drug prevention program. But Rucker didn't learn of Jackson's colorblind challenges until recently, when Jackson's younger sister participated in the fifth grade DARE program. In March, the Cortez Police surprised Jackson with a pair of Enchroma glasses. The unique lens technology helps people like Jackson with common forms of red-green colorblindness see more of the broad spectrum of bright color. They added a texture where it makes a difference between red and orange and yellow because that's one of the difficulties I have. And that's red. And then this is kind of a bluish color because I have difficulty with blue and purple. They bring a lot of stuff up. And during when I'm outside, it dulls it down, but some colors it's really bright to help me notice the color. Jackson noticed improvements immediately upon putting the glasses on and in the quality of his life and schoolwork during the past two months. I got to see the start of spring colors because um, by the police station there's like all these flowers and trees and I got to see the color green. I think that was my first color to see. It helps me actually see the maps and I actually still have to do social studies, which involves maps and me coloring it still. So it really does help with a lot of stuff. I won't have to ask people for help anymore. It'll be me just finding the colors on my own. And I think I'll get better grades. To take the free online assessment to see if you're a candidate for colorblind eyewear, go to Enchroma.com. Thanks for watching this edition of the Local News Network. I'm Wendy Graham Settle.